chaos on the streets. And um, I just hope everyone is safe. And uh, I will come home as soon as possible to cover the events that will happen tonight. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stay whole day live streaming. Maybe after this press conference, uh, a few hours, maybe one hour or two hours later, I'm going to have to get ready for my presentation in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. So I am so sorry about that, guys. And um, I hope you understand. And um, yeah, you can continue to watch the live streams. And uh, I'm sure um, you guys uh, can... Um, I think you, if you join the Discord server, you can still comment on what is going on in the live streams. I'm sure a lot of people will provide translations. So, yeah, probably there will be more chaos. The, the university also said that uh, they will inform me maybe one or two hours before the the presentation and the, the, the event in the university. They would let me know if it gets cancelled or not. Like I should be ready to get a notice that it might be cancelled anytime because they don't know what the situation on the streets will be by then. Thank you guys for your comprehension and your support. I really appreciate it. Jupy Star is saying wear a face mask when you go out. And yes, indeed, I do have to wear a face mask when I come when I go out in the streets. I usually also uh, change clothes when I'm on the street. Um, because I don't want people to get my address. If someone's spotting me leaving my building, uh, they well they will know that I live in that building, so Thanks for your concern, Jupy Star. Wow, oh my god, 1723. Thank you so much for your generous contribution. Um, I can't read your message. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. I think you're retracted, but still, thank you so much. And uh, yeah. If you need anything, let me know. And thank you all, guys, for your contributions. They mean the world, and uh, they mean that I can do this. Um, I can do this full time now, and spend most of my day covering the events. Guys, we're getting a lot of lag. Let me try to fix this. Ban Pokai Fayandi say.
Guys, I wish so deeply I had a death note with me. Thank you, reporters, for joining this press conference. First, we're going to talk to you, and then we're going to get questions. Reporters, citizens, almost four months, and non-stop protests and attacks in different districts. Over 400 incidents, uh, uh, demonstration protests, parades, over 1,800 people injured, and uh, so, so many of them are police officers. Like it's escalating quickly and every time it's more violent. Like talking about riots and destroying public property. Uh, people's daily lives have been affected deeply. Citizens are also asking, can Hong Kong become normal again? Is like Hong Kong a good place anymore? Everyone has to uh, stop violence immediately and be peaceful. And uh, support the police to enforce the law. It's one of the government's responsibilities and like objectives. One month ago, I proposed four, uh, four solutions. Uh, also a dialogue platform. Uh, we already had a public uh, platform dialogue uh, last week. Also talking about how she was having some people to assist in the independent committee of police complaints. But uh, people still come out to protest, even if she's saying, even though I, I offered the solutions. Now she's saying about the places. Uh, wait, wait, wait. She's saying that uh, about the fires. Now she's talking about the fires, the Molotov cocktails. Uh, on the streets and also on the train stations and it's very dangerous she's saying 
嘅建築物，但係而家就延伸到去有一啲暴徒自己選定嘅目標商店。She's talking about the riots as well. Wangshi is doing the fighting, the fighting. Now it's using force to solve it. Finally, the actions of the police are on the police. Now it's going to the riots, using the real weapons, the fake bodies, the shooting, the shooting, the shooting, the shooting, the shooting. Now she's talking about how the police, to ensure their safety of their own life, used a real gun to fire at a violent rioter. It was a high school student. These escalations of violence. Because of basically, she's saying the escalation of violence are damaging Hong Kong and the young people, and we have to do our best to stop the violence. For the future of Hong Kong. As the current government, we're not able to. Wait, wait, wait. 可以應用嚟到有效處理今日嘅情況，包括加強對於一啲試圖違法者嘅阻嚇力，同埋協助。Uh, basically, they're saying that now they're trying to see what other ways they can uh, use to uh, diminish uh, these situations, this violence. 緊急情況規例條例訂立一條名為禁止蒙面規例。So now they're talking about the 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 law against face masks, and they is going to start on the fifth of October. Why do we have to make this law? Because everyone saw that in these four months, the illegal assemblies and protesters who destroy things all. Uh, cover their faces. She's talking about the, the other countries uh, that use this kind of uh, face mask ban in other countries. Um, even though people in Hong Kong are against this uh, argument. Uh, she wants to tell the citizens that this is not an easy decision to ban face masks, but in the current situation, it's a must. It's something that we have to do. Because 
，行政長官會同行政會議嘅權力係可以當我哋認為社會上出現咗危害公安嘅情況。而事實上，我諗冇乜人會懷疑或者質疑香港已經係出現咗危害公共安全嘅情況。So basically, she's saying that、uh, because we're entering in a state of emergency, she believes that no one wouldn't think that like the current situation in Hong Kong is not like very grave. 所以第一點，我想強調，雖然用嘅主體嘅法案係緊急情況規例嘅條例，訂立嘅規例係一個反蒙面法嘅規例，但係唔等於香港進入咗緊急狀態。但係香港現作況咧，係滿足呢條條例下邊嘅所謂危害公安嘅情況。喂 ，guys， these are very very difficult words。第二點，我想強調嘅就係呢個規例嘅目的係停止暴力、恢復秩序。She wants to repeat that the 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 reason of this law is uh 第三點，我想講啊 ，preventing more violence, stopping violence 係使用暴力嘅人士。我哋明白，可能有其他嘅人士。We understand that other people have reasonable motives to wear face masks. So we believe this law has reached a balanced balance. The Prime Minister of Vietnam, Ngoc Thanh, Guys, I don't know if she's going to repeat everything in English. So. Oh, they're going to pass this to the legislative council uh, in uh, in October. Bishui一同向暴力說不，大家努力希望將香港回復翻一個正常嘅香港，一個大家可以安居嘅香港。至於我同我嘅班子，會繼續按住我早前提出嘅四個行動，透過對話，透過進一步嘅。I would like to say a few words in English. All right. Protests arising from the Fugitive Offenders Bill have continued for nearly four months now. Over this period, protesters' violence has been escalating and has reached a very alarming level in the past few days, causing numerous injuries. And leading Hong Kong to a chaotic and panic situation, we are particularly concerned that many students are participating in these violent protests or even riots, jeopardizing their safety and even their future. As a responsible government, we have the duty to use all available means in order to stop the escalating violence and restore calmness. In society, as the current situation has clearly given rise to a state of serious public danger, the chief executive in council decided at a special meeting this morning to invoke the power under the emergency regulations ordinance and make a new regulation in the name of prohibition on face covering regulation, which is essentially an anti-mask law, something. Which has already been introduced in a number of jurisdictions around the world and discussed here in Hong Kong, we believe that the new law will create a deterrent effect against masked violent protesters and rioters, and will assist the police in its law enforcement. The Secretary for Security will later explain in greater details the provisions, and the Secretary for Justice will speak on the legal matters. I would like to emphasize that the decision to invoke the emergency regulations ordinance is a difficult, but also a necessary one for public interest. Let me make four points in conclusion. One, although the ordinance carries the title emergency, Hong Kong is not in a state of emergency. 
and we are not proclaiming that Hong Kong is entering a state of emergency. All right, that's something I got wrong. But we are indeed in an occasion of serious danger, which is a stated condition in the emergency regulations ordinance for the chief executive in council to exercise certain powers. And I would say that we are now in rather extensive and serious public danger. It is essential for us to stop violence and restore calmness in society as soon as possible. We hope that the new legislation can help us to achieve this objective. The second point I want to make is the objective of this regulation is to end violence and restore order. And I believe this is now the broad consensus of Hong Kong people. The third point is this regulation targets rioters or those resort to violence. That's why the regulation contains defense and exemptions to cater for legitimate needs to wear a mask. And believe, we believe that by so doing, we have struck the necessary balance. Fourth, the regulation is a piece of subsidiary legislation subject to negative vetting. So when Legislative Council resumes on the 16th of October, the regulation will be tabled in the Legislative Council for members' discussion. Finally, let me reiterate that I and my principal officials will continue our dialogue with the public, for it is the best way to find solutions to some of the deep-seated social problems in Hong Kong and to allow Hong Kong to move forward. In the four last four months, we see that all the people who uh, participate in the violent and, and the riots, they all wear face masks or use objects to cover their faces to avoid the police and avoid the law enforcement. To, when they set fires, throw uh, molotovs. And uh, damage, like, and attack the police. Uh, this, and uh, damage the national emblem and the national flag. The objectives, first. And the first objective of this law is to reduce violence. Second, so that people who break the law can face law enforcement. So, so people who gather with more of five people on the street or three of more people marching without a, a and also uh, parades or assemblies that uh, didn't notify the police. And third, in illegal assemblies or, or violent Wait, um. Uh, they can, they're talking about uh, those people who cover their faces in these situations can face one year in prison and uh, a sum of money. I, I didn't get the number, but they're talking about including uh, including glasses, including glasses, I think he said. 
免除刑责，包括嘅理由有：第一，因从事专业或者受雇工作，为佢个人嘅人身安全嘅理由；第二，系宗教理由。And also talking about religious, religious uh, like religious garment, guys. Sorry. 另外，規例係賦予警務人員權力喺公眾地方。因為某人嘅蒙面物品阻止識辨身份為理由，要求呢個人除低佢嘅蒙面物品，去核實身份，唔遵從要求嘅屬於犯罪，最高嘅係可以判監禁六個月以及罰款。And、um, people who refuse to、uh, remove their Their the garment that covered their faces when、uh, asked by the police、uh, can face six months in jail and a thousand and one and a ten thousand Hong Kong dollars fee. He's mentioning countries that have similar、uh, Laws against、uh, covering faces. He wants to repeat one point clearly. Oh, over fifty, over fifty members in an assembly, or over thirty members in a in a march. We understand that uh, uh, people are concerned about this law. Why is so hard to understand what these people are saying? So basically, they understand that people are concerned about their rights, about the basic law. But these measures are necessary, basically. This措施是否與達至這個合法目的是有合理的關聯？第三，這個措施是否會達至該目的的雙懲方法，同埋最後第四咧？呢個措施所帶嚟嘅社會利益同埋受憲法保護嘅個人權利被限制，兩者之間係
透過禁止喺公眾活動使用蒙面嘅用品咧，可以阻止暴力人士喺隱藏身份嘅情況之下進行非法行為而逍遙法外。呢個咧，亦都係有助警方執法同埋進行調查。Yeah, now they're talking about that this is to help the police enforce the law. They, they basically want to sound clever, trying to use complicated words, but they're basically repeating the same again. This是一個規例不會禁止市民在有合理辯解的前提之下 because there, now that she's talking about all the uh, extreme violence that have been occurring on these last few months. Yukauyamhoyanhaikongjongtefongi 警務人員可以截停並要求有關的人士暫時移除他的蒙面用品。Now they're saying they're, she's repeating what the other guy said that the police can stop people and ask them to remove their masks. And after the checking by the police, they can continue to wear their masks or their scarves or whatever. And the guy, the other guy said, if you refuse to remove your mask when the police ask you to do so, you can face six months in jail and a ten thousand Hong Kong dollar fee. Now questions from the press. Now, guys, I will need as much as help as I can in the. Live chat to translate this because Hong Kong and Jay Leo and Pai. Someone to hike is a Jin Tai Pai, Hong Kawa, Jerry, Ji Long, Do Gong Go. A lot of people said that this law against masks is not a solution for what is happening. What now you're using the emergency regulation to do this? Is, is it because you just want to in, uh, empower these emergency regulations uh, ordinance and you're using this as excuse? Also, you talk about to help the police enforce the law. Uh, but in the 21st, in the 21st of July, in the 21st of July, the hundreds of people who were attacking people in Yunlong, most of them were not wearing uh, masks. But until now, only around 30 have been arrested. First of all, in, uh, the violence and the attacks in these four months has continually increased. So as the responsible government, we are... The other thing we saw is that... Uh, we just a reaction because we don't want Hong Kong is violent. We don't want Hong Kong to be a mess. So we have to think some kind of law, something reasonable. 
咁所以，正如我最尾講咧，去啊引用緊急嘅情況規例條例，制定一個禁止規例咧，唔係一個容易嘅決定。So we used this emergency law to、uh, ban face masks. Was not an easy decision. And also, the name emergency regulation ordinance. It's not equal that Hong Kong entered a emergency state. We don't hope that everyone hopes that people are not affected their daily lives. We we hope the police are not attacked. But this is not a complete delegation of power. 大家都聽到我頭先講啦，即使我哋訂立咗一個禁禁止嘅蒙面嘅規例，亦都係以一個附屬法例嘅進行，亦都會交翻俾立法會。當然，我希望立法會亦都聽到廣大市民嘅盼望，係希望能夠停止暴力，所以唔會對呢條規例咧係作出一啲誒、呃、反對嘅立場。咁所以誒、呃、簡單嚟講，暴力唔升級。So that she's saying, basically, if the if the violence does not increase, we don't have the necessity of add more regulations. But if it in, in, but it increases, uh, in order to protect the the safety, we have to keep doing more things. Ah, I think, 行政長官，啊，我諗大家唔係喺度爭論。